Hello, and welcome to our video on message flow rules using BPMN. If you're interested in learning more about BPMN, please subscribe to our channel as we routinely create new videos that you may find useful. In this tutorial, we will explain some key tips for modeling with message flows. Message flows are used for connecting information in your process. Message flows are used to connect two or more processes. So, we will start with our pre-built models to explain message flow rules. One, as you'll see on the model, the message flows are crossing the boundary of the pool. This is the most important rule. Always cross the pool boundary to another pool when using message flows. Two, message flows can be used for connecting information to throwing and catching events. Three, you can also use message flows to cross the boundary of a pool into an expanded subprocess. Four, message flows are also great at depicting collaboration. Here we illustrate how two message flows are connecting the boundaries of two pools. One thing you should never do with message flows is to use them within the same pool. On the model, I will demonstrate what I mean. Here I'm trying to connect two message flows with two activities within the same pool. That is my, I can properly work the mouse. There we go. As you can see, I have two activities connected to a message flow. We should never do this. This is in violation of BPMN. So we can make our message flow red. And for added drama, I add an additional no sign. So there you have it an example of message flow rules using BPMN. Thank you for joining us again. If you enjoyed this video, please take a moment to hit the like button and please leave a comment below to tell us what you think. And don't forget to subscribe.